Hey, what is going on today, YouTube? I'm back again. Uh, it's not. This is not going to be a long video by no means. I just wanted to talk to you guys real quick, or not even talk. I wanted to show you guys what I was doing. Um, I was going to wait until yesterday to do it, but then I got, I got too antsy and I wanted to do it tonight. Uh, I won't upload this video though. Today's Wednesday night. I won't upload it until tomorrow, though Thursday, because depending on how the lighting looks, I might wait till there's better light outside to be able to finish to show you guys the finished results. Because I'm doing it in the garage right now and it's closed and the only lights I have is the two ones above my head and my uh, work lamp. So I just wanted to let you guys know. Uh, so what, we're, what I'm doing real quick is I'm polishing the front bumper since it's off of the car right now. And it's going to be easier to clean and uh, pretty much easier to mess around with. So I already went ahead and washed it and with some soap. I used Dawn dish soap and some water and I just washed it down to get all whatever loose dirt was on it. Uh, accidentally messed up and I put it. Uh, I left it outside when it snowed, although it wasn't like on the ground, it was on top of the trailer, but you know, it sat out there uh, with that water and stuff, so I definitely wanted to get to it quickly. Uh, I didn't want to let it sit out there any more time, because as you guys know, it already had rust on it. It had uh, like, you know, rust, you know, pretty much just surface rust. Nothing crazy though. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I'm working with, and show you what I did so far. I'm going to hook up the polisher, I put a piece of tape down, so that way, I would be able to, you can see clearly see the difference and after uh, it gets polished. So let me know what you guys think, if you like it or not. Uh, but I'm going to set up the camera, get the stuff ready, and then so go So I went ahead and I don't have it sitting on bare metal. I have it sitting on two little, uh, two little microfiber rags. But I went ahead and I used some of the Woolbright uh, fine grade and I went ahead and hit it with some soap. Soapy water. Um, I use personally. I use the greaser just because it's cheap and I had it here. But if you have a bottle with some dish soap in it, you know that's gonna work fine. It's just something that's slippery, so that way it's not just eating it up. But as you can see, there was rust all uh, all down here. Uh, you actually you actually see my reflection a little bit, but it's gonna look a lot better. So if you see, there's actually some swirls in it. Uh, let me get up and get close to it. Yeah, those are streaks, but. There's uh, definitely some swirly marks in there left from the, from the steel wool, but the Blue Magic is going to take all that out. Coming along here, if you look here, there's a lot of oxidation. That's not uh, like dried up residue or nothing. That's all oxidation and stuff. You can even see on the inside, you can even see there, there's still rust in there. I'm not really going to worry about that right now. I am going to treat it though, because if not, it's just going to eat from the inside out, which is pretty much defeating the purpose of what I'm doing now. So I'm gonna hit it up, but I'm you know I'm not gonna bore you guys doing all that. I just want to show you guys the pretty stuff. Now this bumper does have some defects on it. It has a uh, it has two dings here. It has a ding here and a chrome flaked away. Uh, this bumper needs it, I need a new one, but and it needs to get re or this one needs to get rechrome. But I'm not too worried about it right now. So it has a ding here. It has a ding. It has a ding there and then a little pin. I don't know what that is, but something hit it um, up here. Looking at it, it's not bad. There was some one spot up here I thought was, but I can't find it right now. So, whatever. But yeah, so this bumper is definitely we can bring bring some life back into it. I even set up a piece of tape. I got a piece of tape set up here so that way when I'm done, I'll pull it off and you guys can actually see the true difference. I'm gonna do the right side and then leave the left side alone. So I'm gonna get the camera set up and All go right, ahead guys, and get started. Right, so okay? one thing I forgot to mention was before I, I apply. Before I apply Blue Magic, I or before I apply this, I use uh, just some basic, some basic guys for rubbing alcohol, and I just coat, I just wipe it down real quick because I know I probably don't have to do this or it's unnecessary, but I like to do it. Reason being is because um, after using the degreaser and stuff, just kind of get that soap off of it because I didn't rinse it. I just sprayed it on and started scrubbing it with the Woolbright, or I keep saying Woolbright with the <laughs> with the steel wool. So just to kind of get get it, you know, whatever oils and stuff that's on it off. I just wipe it down real quick with the with the rubbing alcohol, and that's gonna make sure that it's at this bare coat. There's nothing, you know, there's nothing there. So I'm just gonna do that real quick on this side. It's cool too because rubbing alcohol pretty much dries up instantly. It's just not like you have to wait for it to dry or you have to dry it off with a rag or something. So. It's pretty cool. So this is what I've been doing so far. This is what I did with. Uh, this is what I did with the, the. What you call it? This is what I did with the, the frame. One second. I'm gonna see if I can adjust the camera. 
All right, so after messing around with the camera, I actually just determined that this is just going to have to do. So, I like to put the glue magic on uh, by hand. I like to put it on by hand and then I'll, you know, rub it on and then I'll come with my, uh, my drill and then I'll just buff it. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick right now. this off I wipe it off first with a cotton rag and then I use a microfiber that's un that doesn't have anything on it and I might you know might have to put a second application on or hit it up again So, show you guys what it looks like up close, and we can see if we notice a difference. Hmm. Tell me what you think. I think it's pretty good. Uh, you can definitely see the swirl marks, but I don't think once it's on the car it's gonna be that bad. But the shine though, that reflection, and then you can see over here where I haven't even touched it yet. So, I think it looks good so far. So far, so good. So, the next section I'm going to do is, I'm going to do this section right here. I didn't hit it with the scotch, or with the, the steel wool. So, I'm going to do this section right here and leave this undone. Take it off and then see what we got there, okay? Uh, yeah, I won't, I, won't, I won't record that. I don't want to bore you guys. So, I'll just show you what it looks like after. All right. So, I came back. I hit it up. I wiped it off. Um, this is what I'm talking about right here. That's that. That's that showroom shine right there, man. My goodness. Look at that. See me waving? <laughs> uh, I hit. I missed a couple. I didn't get good up in here. And the groove is pretty much. I, I missed this groove right here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. I missed that. And then I missed some in there. Right. It's not a lot, but it's a little. It's noticeable to me. And I missed some in there. So I'm going to peel the tape back now. And let's see if we can see a difference. All right. Night and day difference. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. Uh, gone. So that's clear as day right there, fellas. It don't get any clear. It don't get any clearer than that. You know, talking about that to the left is oxidation and just whatever on it. All in years sitting, and then to the right is when you polish it up a little bit. So once again, Blue Magic came to the rescue. That looks like is that looks like is going to be my go-to metal polish. Now I'm not even going to waste money buying Turtle Wax or uh, Eagle One or any of that crap. I'm that that little tub was like seven bucks but you, the thing is is you don't need a lot of it you just put a thin film over it and you don't even have to I apply it to the surface you don't even have to do that you can just apply it to the to the, the it, it tells you to put it on the pad and then just work it in and then you know buff it out until it gets a black haze but I apply it to the surface a thin coat and I just spread it out I mean you guys saw how I spread it earlier that looks pretty good to me um I'm not gonna finish this up tonight because it's actually getting a little late so I'm going to go ahead and end this out and then from there, oh yeah, I'm just going to end this out and then when I'm, whatever video comes up next, I'll just happen to, I'll,
put this in the beginning of the video to show you guys what uh, how it came out final so I think it looks real good man heck yeah and you can even see so here chrome or obviously all of it's chrome but here shiny oxidized all oxidized back shiny tell me what you guys think shoot blue magic I'm telling you man uh, right here yes sir that is it that will do it you know what I'm saying? Alright YouTube, so I just want to go ahead and end that out, or end this video out. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's not a long video, it's not a crazy engine mod or anything like that. It's just a little, little beautification, if you want to call it that. Um, definitely, that Blue Magic stuff, I'm telling you man, buy some of that if you need it. Uh, if you're trying to restore Chrome, you know, it's hazy, nasty looking, get it. Um, I know there's some home remedies you can use and stuff, but seven bucks man you can't beat that and you don't need a polisher or a drill like me you can use the rag and just rub it in just a little more elbow grease you know what I'm saying so it definitely worked out good um, highly recommend it that bumper is actually gonna come out looking good I'm looking at it right now in the corner of my eye so I'm actually excited to see how it looks tomorrow I'm gonna get it done tomorrow when there's more light and then I'm gonna show you the after or how it looks after I finish it up um, I know I mentioned in the previous video that I was gonna show you how the bumper looks before but honestly, I think you guys have seen it before, or I'm not sure, 100%, but it pretty much looked the way that one section where the plate would go at, that's how it looked everywhere, and it had rust all in the bottom, and I, I, I just scrubbed it off. So I'm probably going to hit that, that right side of the bumper, or technically left side of the bumper that I showed you at the beginning. I'm probably going to hit that up again, uh, just to see if I can get more some of them swirls to come out. So let me know what you guys think. Once again, uh... If you didn't watch the last video, watch it because there's some very, very good information in there about the channel, about the Buick, and about the build, and what's going to be happening. So I highly encourage you guys to uh, watch the last video. I'll have it pop up at the end of the, at the end of this video, so you can check it out and you'll see what I'm about and whatnot. Um, thanks again for watching once again. I know I had a couple hiccups with the username for my channel. Uh, long story short, I'm communicating with eBay trying to get fixed. So once the channel name is officially fixed for good, I will let you guys know. But for those of you that still been watching the videos, even with the channel names bouncing back and forth and stuff like that, going all crazy, I appreciate it. Leave a thumbs up, like it, uh, like the videos. It helps the channel out a lot. Trying to get to 100 subscribers still. We got 92, so hopefully we'll get lucky soon. But no fingers crossed. Um, but once again, and then also if you like the channel, subscribe too. I forgot to mention that. But also, with that being said, I appreciate you guys watching. Take care. Have a good night. Have a good day tomorrow.